And then if you would, please pray for me, that God would speak through me and it would make sense, and that He would graciously hold the rain off for just a few more minutes. <laughs> well, Father, we love you, and we trust you. Use this time, and we pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, just a few years after I got out of college, my sister called me from England, where she was living at the time, and uh, she asked me to meet her in Italy. She said, I got a couple days off, four days, a friend and I are going to Rome, uh, but here's the deal. We've made no plans, no preparations, we don't know the language, we know nothing about Italy, uh, but we want you to plan a, a trip for us, arrive, and uh, meet us by that statue of that one guy. And I said, okay, and I, I think my sister knew I was a bit of a planner, and she knew I was a bit protective, too, and the idea of my sister being alone in a country where she doesn't speak the language, uh, completely disorganized, would prompt me to study, uh, which it did. <clears throat> and so I went straight to a Barnes & Noble, and I just got every single book about Italy and said, I'm going to read until I just know them. And, and I found something out pretty quickly, that most of the books about how to travel in Italy were a complete waste. Uh, most of them had big pictures of the stuff you were going to look at, and as I'm looking at them, I'm like, why do I need a big picture of this? I'm about to go see the actual thing. Like, I don't need a whole page with a picture of David. Like, what am I going to do? Just go, yep, yeah. well, that was him. The book's, the book's right. This book's dead on. Like, I, don't, I don't need the photos. And then I noticed with a lot of them, they would just, would just use profuse, flowery language to describe what you would see. They're like, the statue is massive and gargantuan and bold and daring, and I'm like, I don't... I don't need your adjectives uh, about it. I'll come up with my own while I'm looking at it. I need you to tell me how to get there because I don't speak the language, all right? And so these books weren't helping me uh, until I came across one written by a prophet by the name of Rick Steves. <laughs> and uh, I read his book. I don't know how he's doing lately, but back then when I read his book, man, I got to tell you, uh, he didn't give me all this flowery language of what I could expect to see. He was just giving me data, you know? Uh, he was telling me, when you land in the airport in Rome, don't use traveler's checks, and don't get your money exchanged at the booth. The exchange rate will rip you off. Go to gate number four. There's an ATM there. Get your cash there. And then when you go out to the bus to get a bus to the train station, don't get uh, a bus to get outside. They mark it up 20%. Go inside to this little booth. You'll save about 10 bucks. And he's just giving me raw facts about how to move successfully in Italy. So I looked at this book, and I was like, I got to get this thing. I remember I showed up at the airport, and I'm sitting there in the airport just flipping through it, reading, and I remember this girl just walked up to me, and she saw the front of the book, said Italy on it real big, and she said, hey, are you going to Italy? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, so am I. She said, what are you doing? I was like, well, I'm just reviewing this part again about how to navigate the train stations. She was like, your book has a part about train stations? I'm like, 